Welcome to the weather forecast for the week, beginning Wednesday, June 8th, 2022. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Innsworth for Longmont Public Media. Tuesday, June 14th, will be our full moon, so between now and then is a fantastic time to go out and take a walk. You have lots of extra illumination with the moon rising at sunset and setting close to sunrise. Take a look at the sun over the last three weeks. We can see it rotating around with all the sunspots now turning away from us. This t takes one month to go around. There are indications using helioseismology that some big sunspots are around on the backside coming to face us over the next week or two. Looking at drought conditions, uh, things definitely got better. In a sort of a diagonal line from northwest to southeast, there is a lessening of drought conditions and a little more rain showers have continued to form since. So we might see, if not status quo, maybe a little bit of improvement. Looking nationally, it's the margins of the Great Plains that have gotten better and nothing has really changed out in the west. Pretty much drought free in the eastern half of the country. Going through our sequence of snow depth as a percent of average, green line is what we're shooting for. And over the last few months, we were quite below. And then we got a recent couple of storms that knocked us back close to 100%. Now we're at 81% of normal, and the snowpack is expected to be gone pretty much in the next week or two. So that's eh, not bad. I mean, some of the precipitation that fell fell as rain rather than snow, but uh, yeah, it's not catastrophically bad at all. Looking at the rainfall, uh, over the last week we had a good soaker once and some little showers since then. So we've gotten one inch in the medium dark green areas. These yells are two inches and even more in a few isolated spots. Unfortunately, the western slopes and the four corners quarter of the state kind of got skipped. So we got to hope that they get some rain from any future patterns that are coming. Taking a look at the animation for severe. This is starting in the last week of March. Nothing. Going into the first week of May, second week of May, third, first week of June, second. Whoops. Too far. We actually have a pretty good chance at this time. We're close to our peak of severe weather. Um, nothing is really looking like it might happen over the next week, but we definitely had uh, some big storms from at a uh, marginal risk yesterday, Tuesday, up in the foothills and a slight risk along I-25. Nothing formed there because it was too cool, but every single th storm that formed on, on the eastern plains went severe and there were a few tornado slash land spout things that did occur. So looking over the next three days, Wednesday, Thursday, we have a chance of thunderstorms, thunderstorms coming back. Marginal risk right here to the uh, southeast side of Denver and Colorado Springs, but nothing closer and then chance of some thunderstorms from about Loveland South along I-25 and then some distance east and west. Uh, looking at Thursday, we have our high and dry with a little front parked over us. For Friday, that moves off. Um, there's a front further south of us, but uh, yeah, it's a weird, weird game between stability here and the moisture coming over the front uh, over in this part of the country, but there is severe weather out to our east, and then everything moves away on Saturday, so high and dry for the weekend. Just to check in the smoke, uh, smoke and stuff like that is being generated by fires down in uh, New Mexico, but nothing is coming up here because of the ambient western and northwestern flow over the state. Look at our normals. We go from 80 to 83. I should have had that bumped up a little higher there. And 51 to 53 for normal lows. So we are definitely entering summer. Summer is just uh, coming up on June 21st. We'll cover that next week. 
Uh, there is r not much in the way of organized precipitation that the GFS ensembles are seeing. It's a little bit here on the 12th, maybe a couple more moist uh, thunderstorm activity regimes coming up later, but yeah, no, no big fronts are coming in. Temperatures remain above normal, bumped down a little bit without precipitation here around the 15th, and then kind of hugged towards the upper part of normal again. Uh, there isn't much to show in the highlights for the next week. We have basically a ridge in the west, trough in the east, and that really doesn't vary. We'll look at that in the animation. On Tuesday, there is a hint of a large tropical system in the Gulf that could uh, make news somewhere in the Texas, Louisiana, Gulf Coast region. So keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at the animation. So there's the ridge in the west, trough in the east, We're up to Friday. The ridge even gets bigger over the weekend. And there comes Sunday with the ridge still over us. Finally, a trough is coming in, and it passes around Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday, it zips by. We have zonal flow west to east airflow over us and that's kind of as far as we should go the cool air of the recent uh, few fronts leaves pretty quickly by Friday the heat is starting to really move in look at all these above normal temperatures in the west and southwestern part of the nation it's pretty profound there's our next front trying to come down on Monday that's a pretty good one and there it is spreading down the eastern planes on Tuesday into Wednesday and then things start to warm up right after that. It's a pretty brief cool down. So the story is we have all this moisture. This is precipitable water. This is above normal in the greens. Uh, we have the precipitate water in place but there isn't anything lifting the atmosphere so we don't get precipitation. Then by Tuesday, Wednesday as the front comes in it brings in dry air and nothing happens again. So when we have moisture, nothing is acting on it. When the moisture goes, we've got something that could make storms. And to kind of punctuate that, take a look at the sort of surface future radar. There's Friday dry, Saturday dry, and Sunday a little bit of showers and then they're gone. Friday, it's all to, oh, I'm sorry, Monday, it's all to our east. There's a low passing on Tuesday and Wednesday. We just stay dry. That's kind of the theme for the next week to 10 days. So there's our next five days of precipitation. Very spotty stuff out on the plains and to our south. Sorry about that. Bring in 10 days, and we're still pretty much dry. Some showers hit here and there, but it's really kind of popcorn thunderstorms. They just pop and go, uh, nothing big. And just for completeness, here's the next 10 days of snow, and I don't see any shading anywhere in the state. So we go from the 80s to the low 90s on Thursday, mid 90s even inching into the upper 90s on Saturday. Here's even closer to the upper 90s, maybe 100, probably not on Monday and we do cool down with that next front on Tuesday. I'm giving 30% chance of showers just because there's so much heat there and the moisture is in place that you should see some form. Uh, then with the front and the cool down we could get uh, another return of showers just briefly in the afternoon on Tuesday. So for frequent weather updates check out the Longmont Leader, BroomfieldLeader.com's and great local news. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.